Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another session from Defense IAS Academy. We are specialized in civil service examinations and defense examination coaching. In today's sessions, let us see about Indian geography. We are going to cover a few multiple choice questions that are frequently asked in the competitive examinations. Question 1. With which of the following countries of Southeast Asia, India shares a maritime boundary? The correct answer is option A, Indonesia. India's southern mainland and islands share a maritime border with Myanmar, Thailand and Indonesia. Question 2. The Kanchen Hills make a boundary between India and which of the following neighbors? The correct answer is option B, Myanmar. The Kanchen Hills are located at the extreme northeastern area of the Kanchen state of Myanmar and they make a boundary between India and Myanmar. Question 3. The northernmost point of India is known as? The correct answer is option B, Indira Kol. The northernmost point of India lies in the state of Jammu and Kashmir and it is known as Indira Kol. The Indira Kol, which has an altitude of 5764 meters, is a mountain pass. It's located in the Indira Ridge in the Siachen Mutsak in the Karakonam Range. Question number four. India shares land borders with how many countries? The correct answer is option B, 7. India has 15,106.7 km of land border running through 92 districts in 17 states and a coastline of 7,516.6 km touching 13 states and union territories. India shares land borders with seven neighboring countries, Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Nepal, Myanmar, Bhutan and Afghanistan. Question number 5. Which among the following rivers originates from the Amarkantak? The correct answer is option C. Narmada. Narmada rises in the Amarkantak hills in Madhya Pradesh and uh, the Tapti rises in Satpura ranges in the Betul district of Madhya Pradesh and uh, river Betwa is a tributary of Yamuna and it rises in the Vindhya ranges. Question 6. Which among the following states produces 60% salt of India? The correct answer is option C. Gujarat. With around 160 lakh tons of production, India is the third largest salt producing country in the world. Please note that India is the third largest salt producing country in the world. Gujarat, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu are four largest salt producing states in India. Question 7. In which year Arunachal Pradesh became a full-fledged state of India? The correct answer is option C, 1987. Arunachal Pradesh was established as a state in India on February 20, 1987. That's the origin of, Arjun, origin of Arjun, Arunachal Pradesh is uh, on February 20, 1987. Arunachal Pradesh was initially an uh, union territory which was carved out of Assam. Question number 8. Which among the following current states of India was known as Prakjyotisha in ancient, ancient time? The correct answer is option B, Assam. Question number 9. In which state Kudremukh, which is famous for iron ore, is located? The correct answer is option A, Karnataka. Question 10. Which among the following is not a western Ghat river? The correct answer is option D, Palar River. Question number 11. In production of which of the following metals, India holds number 1 status? Now the option, the correct answer is option D, my Question number 12. A tourist is planning to visit a popular tourist destination and has the following information about it. 1. Summer is from December to March. 2. The coordinated time is 2 hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. 3. 
it has famous beaches and has uh, heavy sides dolphins as an attraction which are endemic to this region which among the following is the place this tourist is planning to visit the correct answer is option c cape town all these features are of south africa uh, that is like the summer is from december to march uh, it has uh, the uh, time that is like two hours ahead of greenwich mean time and it has a lot of famous beaches and uh, the heavy side dolphins all these are features of south africa and uh, cape town is the second most populous city in south africa cape town is the second most popular city in south africa question 13 in which year peacock was declared national bird of india the correct answer is 1963 option c 1963 the indian peacock or uh, can be called as pavo cristatus was declared the national bird of india in 1963 it was made the national bird because of its rich religious and legendary involvement in indian traditions question 14 a pin code that begins with 66 would refer to which among the following states the correct answer is option d tamil nadu question number 15 tuiril hydroelectric project is located in which state the correct answer is option b mizoram question number 16 which among the following is correct statement about both rusting of iron and respiration the options are both are exothermic reactions option b both are endothermic reactions option c while rusting is endothermic respiration is exothermic option d while rusting is exothermic respiration is endothermic the correct answer is option a both are exothermic reactions uh, both uh, rusting of iron and respiration are exothermic reactions because uh, both are oxidations so therefore they are called as exothermic processes question number 17 when we arrange the union territories and states of india as per population density we find that top four places with highest population density belongs to union territories two among states top three states bihar west bengal and uttar pradesh which among the following observations is correct the correct answer is option a only one means the top four places or uh, the top uh, four places with highest density is union territories the population density of india in 2011 was 382 persons per square kilometer just for additional information in 2021 it is 423.88 people per square kilometer now the density of population increased in all states and union territories between 1991 and 2011 among major states bihar is the most thickly populated state with a population density of 1106 person per square kilometer followed by west bengal with 1028 and kerala 860 when we arrange the union territories and states of india as per population density we find that top four places with highest population density belongs to union territories of delhi chandigarh puducherry and uh, dadra and nagar haveli and daman and Dio. question number 18 the aboriginal tribes found in andamar and nicobar islands are either negroid or mongoloid consider the following with this reference 1 jarawa 2 chopin 3 onge 4 nicobares which of the above are mongoloid the correct answer is option b 2 and 4 means chopin and uh, nicobares are mongoloid there are six aboriginal tribes in andaman and nicobar islands great andamanese onge Jarawa and uh, Sentinelis are Negrito, while Nicobares and Champagne are Mongoloid. Champagnes and Nicobares seem to be descendants of primitives Malayans. 
Question number 19. Punjab, a state in northern India, is known as the land of which of the following five rivers? Correct answer is Option D. Chenab, Ravi, Bees, Jhelum, Satlaj. The Chenab, Ravi, Bees, Jhelum and Satlaj are the five rivers of Punjab and are responsible for feeding the crops of Punjab region of India and Pakistan. These rivers help the Indian state of Punjab have a very high productivity level in the agricultural sector and are the reason for it being self-sufficient with the staple cereal that is wheat. Question 20. Which of the following in India have given evidence of occurrence of uranium in India? 1. Aravalli Belt in Rajasthan 2. Bhima Basin in Karnataka 3. Sun Valley in Uttar Pradesh Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option D 1, 2 and 3. Question 21 Chandan Ranges is located in which state? The correct option is option B Rajasthan. Question number 22 Consider the following statements in context with the coastal regulation zone. 1. In India, the coastal zone in CRIZ, that is the Coastal Regulation Zone Notification 1991, was based on high tide line. The Swamidandan Committee in 2004 to review the CRS was of the view that high tide line is not the best practices and is less scientific. 3. The CRS Notification 2011 Vulnerability Line has been demarcated along the coastal instead of HTL. Which among the above statement is correct? The correct answer is option B, only 1 and 2. The ministry set up with the Swaminathan Committee in 2004 to review the CRZ and the report was submitted in February 2005. The committee felt that the current practice of fixing CRS based on high tide line is not the best of practices and is less scientific. It has also widened the scope of definition of a coastal zone. However, statement 3 is incorrect because vulnerability line had not been used in CRS 2011. Question 23. Archaeological Survey of India has been working from December 2003 for restoration of Ta Prom Temple in which among the following countries? The correct answer is option A, Cambodia. Question 24. Which among the following was steel plant of India is sometimes called India's first Swadeshi steel plant? The correct answer is Bokaro steel plant. Question 25. Consider the following statements. 1. In India, monocyte and thorium are the principal source of rare earth elements. 2. India is self-sufficient in rare earth elements. Which among the above statement is correct? The correct option is option A. Only one is correct. China holds the leading position among producers of rare earth followed by Brazil, Malaysia and India. Though China is having only 37% reserves of rare earths, it produces around 97% of world supply of rare earth. In India, monocyte and thorium are the principal source of rare earth elements. Monocyte is a prescribed substance as per the notification under the Atomic Energy Act, 1962. Question 26. Consider the following statements. 1. India is exposed to nearly 10% of the world's tropical cyclones. 2. Majority of tropical cyclones in India have their initial genesis over the Arabian Sea and strike the west coast of India. 3. Tropical cyclones occur in the months of May to June and October to November. Which among the above statements is correct? The correct option is option C, 1 and 3. The Indian subcontinent with a long coastal line of 
8041 km is exposed to nearly 10% of the world's tropical cyclones of this the majority of them like uh, have their initial genesis over the bay of bengal and strike the east coast of india on an average 5 to 6 tropical cyclones form every year of which two or three could be severe more cyclones occur in the bay of bengal than the arabian sea and the ratio is approximately 4 is to 1 cyclones occur frequently on both the coast that means the west coast uh, where uh, you have the arabian sea and the east coast bay of bengal question number 27 area wise which among the following is the largest physiographic unit of india the correct answer is option c deccan plateau question 28 apart from india bangladesh and thailand myanmar is bordered by dash One China, two Laos, three Vietnam, four Cambodia. Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option B. Only one and two. Myanmar is bordered by Bangladesh, India, China, Laos, and Thailand. Question number twenty-nine. Consider the following statements. While Krishna and Kaveri are west flowing rivers. Narmada and Tapti are east flowing. Two, while Krishna and Kaveri form delta, no delta is formed by Narmada and Tapti. Which of the following is correct? The correct option is only two. Now, in the Deccan region, most of the major river systems flowing generally is in east direction, and they fall into the Bay of Bengal. The major east flowing rivers are Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and Mahanadi. Narmada and Tapti, Tapti also called as Tapi, they are major west flowing rivers. Question 30. Consider the following. 1 wind energy, 2 solar power, 3 biomass power, 4 small hydro power. The correct descending order of country's installed capacity of above is correct answer is option B 1 4 3 2 that means the order is wind energy small hydro power biomass power and then solar power wind energy accounts for around 70 percentage of installed capacity and is the fastest growing program with the investment almost entirely coming through private sector investments it is followed by small hydro power biomass power and then solar power that has just started registering its presence question 31 consider the following statements about himalayan dry temperate forest one the forests are composed predominantly of broad leaf trees two deodar maple and oak are dominant species three these are found in inner dry ranges of himalayas which of the above statements are correct the correct option is option d 1 2 and 3 means all the three options are correct question 32 Buluthi nellu a near extinct rice variant is predominantly grown in which state the correct option is option c kerala buluthi nellu a rice variety belongs exclusively to attapadi and is presently available in very few tribal farmers in sholayar panchayat it is now a near extinct rice variant because of large scale land alienation and adverse climatic conditions which forced the tribal people in attapadi to stop cultivating both upland and lowland rice varieties question 33 consider the following river water projects one mayurakshi to rattle three kishan ganga which of the above are involved in water dispute between india and pakistan the correct answer is option b 3 only means kishan ganga it's like involved in water dis- dispute between uh, india and pakistan the proposed kishan ganga hydroelectric project is located on the river 
Kishan Ganga, a tributary of river Jhelum. The Rattle Hydroelectric Plant is under construction on the Chenab River. Mayurakshi project is a small project on Mayurakshi River, a tributary of the Hooghly which rises from the Chotan Nagpur Plateau and flows through Bihar and West Bengal. Question 34. Which of the following is the correct chronological order for states with highest percentage of net irrigated area to net sown area? The correct option is option A. Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Tamil Nadu. Question number 35. Consider the following statements about National Sericulture Project. 1. The project aims to support the Central Silk Board in research and training activities. 2. The project is funded from World Bank. Which of the above statements are correct? The correct option is neither 1 nor 2. The National Sericulture Project will help India's sericulture development. The project will provide support to state level development in five major sericulture states and uh, assistance to pilot programs in 12 new states. Action towards demonopolization and liberalization of the industry. Increased production of high quality silk yarn through specific programs to promote bio voltin silk production. Enhanced support for the role of women in sericulture. Expansion of the activities of non-government organization in Sari culture. Question number 36. Consider the following pairs. Major irrigation projects. Culturable command areas of more than 10,000 hectares. Medium irrigation projects. Culturable command areas of 2,000 to 10,000 hectares. Minor irrigation projects. Culturable command areas up to 2,000 hectares. Which of the above is correct? The correct answer is option D. 1, 2 and 3 means all the three are correct. Major irrigation schemes are those schemes which have a culturable command areas of more than 10,000 hectares. The medium irrigation schemes have a CCA of 2,000 to 10,000 hectares. Minor schemes are those with the culturable command areas up to 2,000 hectares. Question number 37. National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture. It was launched during the 12th five-year plan. Two, it was one of the eight missions outlined under National Action Plan on Climate Change. Which of the above statements are correct? The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2 this means both the options are correct. The National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture is being launched during the 12th five-year plan. It is one of the eight missions outlined under National Action Plan on Climate Change. It aims at promoting sustainable agriculture through 17 deliverables focusing on 10 key dimensions of Indian agriculture. Question 38. Consider the following differences between mariculture and aquaculture. 1. While aquaculture is related to fresh water, mariculture is identified with seawater. 2. While aquaculture is the branch involving the whole spectrum of fish products, mariculture is a branch of aquaculture. Which of the above statements are correct? The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Question 39. Which of the following stretches have been declared as national waterways in India? 1. Allahabad, Haldia. 2. Dubri, Sadia. 3. Kotapuram, Kollam, Canal. 4. Kakinada, Puducherry, Canal. Select the correct option from codes given below. The correct option is option D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. The government has envisaged construction of 101 waterways in the National Waterways Bill 2015. Five of the river stretches have already been declared as national waterways, which include the Allahabad Haldia on the Ganga, which is uh, 
1620 kilometer brahmaputra's dubri sadia which is 891 kilometer west coast canal that is uh, the west coast canal kotapuram kollam which is 205 kilometer kakinada puducherry canals that is 1078 kilometer and uh, east coast canal integrated with brahmani river and mahanadi delta rivers which is 588 kilometer question 40 consider the following statements about the indian ocean dipole one the positive phase of indian ocean dipole occurs when the sea surface temperatures are greater than normal in the arabian sea and less than normal in the tropical eastern indian ocean two the indian ocean dipole attains its peak mostly in month of january which of the above statements are correct the correct option is option b only two the positive ocean dipole iod occurs when the sea surface temperatures are greater than normal in the arabian sea and less than normal in the tropical eastern indian ocean in reverse case a negative iod is said to develop a positive iod leads to greater monsoon rainfall and more active or uh, above normal rainfall monsoon days while negative iod leads to less rainfall and more monsoon break days that is no rainfall there are three types of indian ocean dipole iod normal iod early iod and prolonged iod while early iod reaches its peak in the mid monsoon months that is july and august the normal iod and the prolonged iod peak in september october and november and hence play a lesser role in the monsoon rainfall question 41 consider the following statements about the state, state of sikkim one sikkim's literacy rate increased to 82.2 percentage from 68.8 percentage in 2001 two sikkim is the least populated state in india three sikkim also became the first fully organic state which of the above is correct the correct answer is option c 1 2 and 3 means all three about sikkim is correct sikkim was the first state to implement ubi united bank of india in india it is the best state for women in the workplace it also decreased its poverty ratio by 22 percentage to 51000 in 2011 to 12 from 1.7 lakh in 2004-5. Question 42. Which of the following pairs represent the ancient Tala instruments? The correct option is option D. Mujavu Tudi. A Tala measures musical time in Indian music. A Tala is a regular repeating rhythmic phrase particularly as rendered on a percussive instrument with the ebb and flow of various intonations represented as a teka, a sequence of drum syllables or bowl. Question 43. Lavani is a dance form of which state in India? The correct answer is option A. Maharashtra. Lavani is a genre of Music popular in Maharashtra. Lavani is a combination of traditional song and dance which particularly performed to the beats of Dolki, a percussion instrument. Lavani is noted for its powerful rhythm. Question number 44. Which neighboring country of India is also referred to as Drukyul? The correct answer is option C. Bhutan. The Druk is the thunder dragon of Tibetan and Bhutanese mythology and a Bhutanese national symbol. The Druk appears on the flag of Bhutan holding jewels to represent wealth. The Tsongha 
Bhutan is called Druk Yul, land of Druk. Question 45. The Gurudwara Panja Sahib is located in which neighboring country of India? Answer is option B, Pakistan. Gurudwara Panja Sahib is a famous Gurudwara located in Hassan Abdal, Pakistan. The shrine is considered to be particularly important as the handprint of the founder of Sikhism, Guru Nanak, is believed to be imprinted on a boulder at the Gurudwara. Question 46. Which of the following cities of India is located at the respective latitude and longitude of 28.38 degree north and 77.12 degree east? The correct answer is option A, Delhi. Delhi has the respective latitude and longitude of 28.38 degree north and 77.12 degree east. Question 47. Which among the following statements about the ozone layer are correct? 1. Ozone is found mostly in the stratosphere. 2. The ozone layer lies 55 to 75 km above the surface of the earth. 3. Ozone absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the sun. 4. Ozone layer has no significance for life on earth. The options are or the correct answer is option B, 1 and 3. The ozone layer contains high concentrations of ozone, O3, molecules. Approximately 90% of the atmospheric ozone occurs in the stratosphere atmospheric layer. The region extending from 10 to 18 kilometers to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The ozone layer effectively blocks and absorbs certain types of ultraviolet and other form of radiations that could injure living cells. Question 48. Which of the following region is located in the very high risk zone of earthquakes? The answer is option B. Himalayan region. The very high risk earthquake zone in India is zone 5 which is very severe in nature and high intensity zone that is around Kashmir, Guwahati, the central and the western part of the Himalayan region, northern and the central Bihar and eastern India. Question 49. Central as well as the eastern Uttar Pradesh and Bihar is part of which of the following Ganga plain? The answer is option B, Middle Ganga plain. Central as well as the eastern Uttar Pradesh and Bihar up to Patna is the part of Middle Ganga plain. The groundwater level is very high in this region. Question 50. Which among the following pairs are correct? MCT between the Greater Himalayas and Lesser Himalayas to MBT between the Lesser Himalayas and the Shivalik Himalayas 3. HFF between the Shivalik Himalayas and Northern Plain Choose the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option C, 2 and 3. Main Control Trust MCT is located between the Greater Himalayas and the Lesser Himalayas. Main Boundary Thrust MBT is located between the Lesser Himalayas and the Shivalik Himalayas. Himalayan Frontal Fault is located between Shivalik Himalayas and Northern Plain. Question number 51. Forest Research Institute of India is located in which of the following cities? The correct answer is option C, Dehradun. The Forest Research Institute is an institute of the Indian Council for Forestry Research and Education and is a premier institution in the field of forestry research in India. It is located in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. Question 52. The Patkai Hills belong to which mountain ranges? The answer is Purvanchal. The Purvanchal Mountains or Eastern Mountains are a sub-mountain range of the Himalayas. The Purvanchal Range includes the hill ranges of the Patkai, the Barrail Range, 
Manipur, Mizoram, Mizo and Naga Hills. Question 53. Which of the following is the correct order of the cities from west to east? The correct answer is option C. Alwar, Gorakhpur, Ranchi, Bagalpur. The correct order from west to east is like Alwar in Rajasthan, Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh, Ranchi in Jharkhand and Bagalpur in Bihar. This is from west to east. This order is from west to east. Question 54. The foothill zones of Himalayas is known by which name? The correct answer is Sivalik. The foothill zone of Himalayas is known as Sivalik. It stretches from the Indus River to the Brahmaputra River with an average wide of 10 to 50 kilometers. Question 55. Which of the following is the highest peak of the Kumayun Himalayas? The correct answer is option D. Nanda Devi. The highest peak of the Kumayun Himalayas is Nanda Devi which is 7,817 meters. The height of other peaks are Dunagiri, which is 7,066 meters, Kamet, which is 7,756 meters, and Trishul, which is 7,140 meters. Question number 56. Syntaxial bend in the Himalayan range is found in which of the following places? The correct answer is option C, both of them. The syntaxial bend that is in the north-south direction in the Himalayan range are found in the state of Jammu and Kashmir and Arunachal Pradesh. It is known as hairpin bend. Question number 57. Arrange the following hills as per their geological periods. 1. Deccan Plateau, 2. Himalayas, 3. Eastern Ghat, 4. Aravalli. Choose the correct option from the codes given below. The correct option is option B, 4, 3, 1, 2. The correct order of hill ranges as per their geological periods are Aravalli, Eastern Ghats, Deccan Plateau and then Himalayas. Question number 58. Which of the following is the highest peak in Andaman and Nicobar Islands? The correct answer is option B, Saddle Peak. The highest peak of Andaman and Nicobar Island is Saddle Peak, which has 732 meters. Question number 59. Which of the following hill or the hill range does not lie in Maharashtra? The correct answer is option C, Mandav Hills. The Mandav Hills are located in Madhya Pradesh. Question number 60. Which among the following hill stations are located in the state of Andhra Pradesh? Options 1, Araku Valley, 2, Tirumala, 3, Papi Hills, 4, Free Asylum. Choose the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. All four hill stations, Arako Valley, Tirumala, Papi Hills, Sri Sailam are situated in Andhra Pradesh. Thank you everyone for watching this session. Uh, if you like the video, please do subscribe the channel Defense IAS Academy.